Okay, and question number one, find the value of x and y in the diagram below. Remember, in any problem that involves two variables, it's always best to look at the problem um, in terms of one variable, or can you set up an equation that has one variable? So in the first question, if we take a look at these two intersecting lines, we have a pair of vertical angles which have one variable in them in terms of their measure. We know that vertical angles are congruent, so 7x minus 2 equals 11x minus 34. Subtract the 11x, you get 4x, add 34, you get 32, and divide by 4, x is 8. So then take another relationship. Uh, we have two sets of linear pairs. It doesn't matter which one you use. So say I look at this line. These two angles add up to 180 degrees. So 18y plus 11x, but we're going to substitute with 8, minus 34 equals 180. So 18y plus, um, well, 88 minus 34 is 54. Subtract the 54, and 18y is equal to 126. Divide by 18, and y is 7. And the construction. Using a compass and a straight edge, you're going to construct angle PQR congruent. So let's focus on that construction. And to start, you need to draw a ray, as you had no starting point or given ray. So using compass, construct it congruent. So you open up your compass, put the point on your vertex, and draw an arc with that same radius. We bring it over and draw another arc. Then we need to measure the width of the given angle. So with the compass point on the points of intersection of the arc and the angle as well as the pencil, we show that we measured the width by making an arc and then slide it over and make an arc with the same radius of your compass. So I'm going to put that to the side as I still need it. Now I'm going to take and draw a ray from the vertex of my new angle through that point of intersection. So here's an angle that's congruent. So we just need to label it P. It's where the A is, I have to put the P. So the A is there. And then the vertex is B, so this vertex is Q and then R. Now we need to bisect it. So I'm going to use the arc that's already there instead of drawing another one. And these are the two points where you put the compass and then make the X just outside. So I'm going to bring it here, make an arc. I'm going to put it here to make the arc reflect my compass. So make that arc and then through that point of intersection we draw the angle bisector. Oops, back to the line tool. And there is angle PQR congruent to angle ABC and then the bisector of angle PQR. Now your tests I do have graded, but I still have some people that need to finish, so we will go over those as soon as everyone has completed the exam.